Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the improvements that were made to Decals in Corona 12. So what you can now do with Decals is you can actually bend them. So you can bend them in their width or in their height directions. And it's all really simply done just by playing with the two parameters that you can see here. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's say, for example, you have a decal that you want to apply to a cylindrical object, like in this case. Well, you can just simply now bend the decal and avoid any sort of distortion that would otherwise happen if you just applied a flat decal to a curvy object like this, right? Now, on top of that, if you bend your decal in its width and in its height directions, you can then also apply it to spherical objects without any of the distortions that would otherwise happen if you were working with a flat decal, right? Right. And so we think this functionality is going to be useful to a lot of you. Uh, it's also really simple to use. It just it comes down to tweaking two parameters. But since this is a tutorial, uh, we're going to spend a, the next couple of minutes uh, taking a look at the general workflow of how you can actually bend your decals. And on top of that, we're also going to be uh, doing a bit of a quick tip at the very end of this tutorial. We're going to be showcasing a pretty interesting uh, use case uh, for bendable decals that, you know, might not be the first thing you think of when you think of bendable decals. All right. OK, uh, so let's just go to work and let's take a look at how you can actually bend your decals next year. All right, so we are in 3ds Max here and uh, we have a bit of a demo set up. And as you can see, it's uh, the gist of it is that we have this decal, this flat decal being projected onto our bottle here, which results in this sort of, I guess, unpleasant and a bit odd projection, right? Because we have this flat decal being projected on this curved surface. OK, now, if you want to bend your decals, all you have to do is you need to go under your Corona decals properties, locate the bend width and height parameters and to just play around with them. So if you want to bend your decal in its width direction, you just locate the bend width parameter and start upping it. And as soon as you do that, as you can see, your decal is going to bend. Right uh, now, if you want to bend your decal in its height direction, then you just locate the bend height parameter and, you know, you just up the value on that thing. And as you can see, uh, then your decal is going to bend in its height direction. OK, and so that's the entire workflow here. You play with these two parameters until you get your decals uh, to match the sort of underlying surface that you want them to kind of conform to. Right now, while we're at it, while we're in this scene, uh, let's maybe try finishing this setup up here. So uh, what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to uh, change the projection depth limit of my Corona decal here because this is just a little bit too intense for the type of setup that I have here. So I'm just going to lower the depth limit down to one, which is going to make it a little bit more manageable to work with. OK, uh, next up, I'm going to focus on my top view just because I think uh, this is going to make it a little bit easier to uh, see how the decal conforms to uh, to my bottle here as I will tweak the bend width parameter. So uh, next up, um, I'll up the value on the bend width parameter so that the decal kind of bends in its width direction. And at this point, I'm just trying to make the decal match the curvature of the bottle. Right now, one thing that you will probably notice relatively quickly is that uh, whenever you got setups such as this one, you do want to make sure that, you know, the decal is kind of centered onto your object because otherwise it's going to be uh, hard to get that curvature. Right. And also you might get some odd distortions happening. So uh, in this case, what I will do here is I'm just going to move the decal around a little bit so that I get it positioned a little bit more uh, uh, you know, properly. And I'm just eyeballing things right now. Maybe I could just uh, lower or maybe just uh, tweak the actual bend width parameter a little bit more here till I get it uh, to match the curvature of the bottle. And just like that, as you can see in our interactive renderer, we get a much more pleasant projection happening. And now this setup looks much more like you would expect it to look like um, or better yet, how it, uh, you would expect it to look like in the real world, right? Now, as we mentioned earlier, you can also make your decals bend in their width and high directions at the same time. OK, so again, we have a bit of a, a showcase, a demo scene all set up here. And the gist of it is that we have this flat decal being projected onto our sphere here. Right. And as you can see, we get these kind of odd looking distortions on that projection. 
right? So the way that you could set this up here is, and I'm again going to focus on the top view here, is you can just start with a nice little bend in the width direction, right? And you're just, again, just trying to make sure uh, that the bend of the decal kind of conforms to the curvature of the surface below it. So I think something like this is going to work just fine. And since this is a spherical object, since this is a sphere, right, what we can do at this stage is we can just take this value, copy and paste it into the height direction value. And now, as you can see, we get a much more pleasant projection happening. Now, at this point, uh, again, it's important to know that you you do want to make sure that your uh, decal itself is sort of centered onto the sphere as it is right here. You don't want it to be sort of off-centered or anything like that, right? So a bit of a thing to note here whenever you're trying to set up these types of curvatures, because this way they're just going to conform to the surface better and they're going to project without any additional distortions. Okay. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we're also going to give you a bit of a quick tip on how you can use decals, because this is a bit of a, you could argue it's a bit of more of a creative use of uh, decals that might not be the first thing that pops into your mind when you think bendable decals. Okay. So check this out. We have this sort of um, a decal uh, that's flat right now, right? Uh, and this decal is kind of adding this sort of graphical detail to this uh, pool queue or snooker queue or whatever it is, right? So um, as you can see in its sort of uh, planar sort of when it's when it's a plain decal, it's not really doing what we want it to do because ideally we will want this detail to kind of envelop around this queue in a 360 degree fashion. Right. So with bendable uh, decals, what you can now do is you can actually bend your decals 360 degrees, right, which is their maximum bend amount. And as you can see, uh, this makes adding details such as the one you see right here um, a lot more easier and kind of in some ways, maybe even trivial. Right. So just a bit of a quick tip. Hope you like it. All right, and so that's pretty much the entire workflow. Hopefully you'll agree it's really easy and really straightforward. And so hopefully now you can just go to work, right? All right, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you've learned something new. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.